Yo, it's Alan Young here and we're on day four of the uh, Commerce HQ challenge. So uh, the aim is to get to $100 in sales, you know, in the first week. Uh, it's just to really show the process of getting a store up and running and getting your first sales and, uh, you know, getting the ball rolling. Because uh, it's uh, I, I see from a lot of other people and, you know, even me in the past is, uh, you know, you, you just get started and you're not you're not really doing enough and... Uh, and not getting that momentum going and it's really a big uh, sticking point for some people just getting that first sale and uh, getting to that first hundred dollars in sales because once you uh, get your first sale and then get your uh, get to your first hundred in sales it's uh, you know it gets the ball rolling gets the momentum going and uh, you know and it really helps you uh, just to move forward and start to uh, to uh, grow your drop shipping business so this is a completely new account as you've seen. I literally set everything up from, from scratch as um, you would have seen in the other videos. And if, you, uh, if you're if you just coming across this video for the first time, go back and watch the other ones where I, I set up a store with Commerce HQ and then uh, I do some product research, then I launch some ads. And then today we're in day four where uh, where I'm just going to see what the, the data is and, and see how to move on from there. So... So I've got some ads running. I launched 17 ad sets today, and that was uh, eight products. One product, I've done three ad sets, um, and then the other ones I've done two. So normally I do about two ad sets, two different like, audiences per product, and uh, you know, then we go from there. So the first milestone has been achieved. I've got a sale um, from one of the products, um, and and I've something I'm sort of happy to, to, to show you is the process of having to stop ads early. So even though there's 17 ad sets, uh, you know, if I if they were to all run at $25 a day and you leave them to the end, you know, that's going to be just uh, what's 10 times 20 or 250. So probably about five, I can't work out. My maths is not very good. Uh, so probably about four, four, maybe four, four fifty or something like that. It doesn't really matter. But the point is that you won't end up spending all that money. So don't be uh, worried about launching loads of ads thinking you're going to rack up a big bill you literally uh you won't as long as you're killing ads early and uh you know and just and just optimizing the, the good ones so i actually started off with 17 i'm only i'm down to five now um and i got the one sale so far so we're sort of like halfway through the day um in the ad account zone that i'm uh, running which is eastern time usa it's uh about 11 o'clock at night here over in the uk so so i'm just looking through the metrics and I'm surprised. I'm I'm a little bit surprised that I didn't get some more sales. Uh, you know, just off the bat because I launched a few ad sets and they all had really good metrics, but most of them did. But unfortunately, it's just the it's the uh, it's the name of the game. Sometimes you just got to get that data in and see what's working. And sometimes you could you could launch ten products and hit a couple of good ones straight off the bat, start getting sales and start you know recouping money straight away. Sometimes it's not always the case. Sometimes you might have to launch a few more. But uh, you know once you do get a good product and it's getting sales you're literally uh, you know get back recoup uh, some of the uh, the money you spent on getting data in the uh, in the early days so we're already on the first day now so I've got that first hurdle out of the way is getting one sell I'm going to show you now what I've been doing uh, regarding this the ad set so so here we go I've got these all here and I'm going to show you so basically I I'm going to show you how important it is to stop ads early if they're underperforming and if they're not reaching the metric. So if I was to leave certain ads running because the metrics were good, um, but they weren't, um, certain metrics were good even, and they weren't, say, hitting other metrics, then I would I would spend a fortune on uh, on ads which weren't going to produce the results. So this is the, the if you're going to get anything from this video, is to understand how important it is to stop ads when they're just not hitting the metrics and be very ruthless with it so i'm going to show you so these are the ones i've stopped to start with so look some of these have got really good click-through rate and, and that is a really good indicator that the targeting is uh is pretty on point sometimes so you're hitting the right audience but sometimes it's uh, it could be a, a few different factors sometimes it's just it's uh it's a nice product but it's just it's just not what uh it's just not, you know, they're not willing to buy it or maybe the price is too high. And sometimes this is the thing, you know, it's not even, if you can't get sales at the price you want it for, um, then, you know, it's not even worth uh, carrying on. So like, obviously I used the product launcher uh, cheat sheet to make sure that uh, I was selling the product for the right price and, and things like that. So... I'm going to show you. So these ones here, look, I've uh, I've stopped these ones at four dollars ad spend, four sixty two, because I got the one click, um, and that has actually probably went over a little bit. If I 
I might have even stopped a little before, but it depends when you go back and check them. Sometimes they've gone over a little bit. But if it was on, uh, if it was maybe um, like four dollars, I might have stopped that one there. Like you really want to, you want to get the clicks low to start with. So as you can see, this one here had fifteen clicks and um, a seventy-two cent a click, which is good. Low CPM, five percent click through rate, which is really good. But the thing with this one is it had no add to carts and ten dollars ad spend. So if it hasn't got an add to cart and ten dollars ad spend, I'm I'm gonna stop the ad because uh, it's chances are it probably won't turn around. Um, and you're just gonna you're gonna let it run to twenty five in the end, and it's uh, it's not gonna get you any results. So you just got to be quite ruthless ruthless with it. So this one here again, it was uh, one click, it's three dollars thirty nine. So I stopped that. This one here was ten dollars ad spend. So the the clicks were one forty seven. So not the not the cheapest, but I would have let it run if it had add to carts, but it didn't have any add to carts. Um, this one here, this one was really good. Twenty three clicks, eight point nine percent click through rate, um, forty eight cent a click, which is really good. But I stopped it when uh, when it went over ten dollars with no add to cart so the thing was i i lowered the price a bit on the on the product page just to see if that would make a difference and and it just still uh, wouldn't convert and i couldn't i can't go and drop the price too much so the thing is if i'm dropping the price too much in the end it's just not going to be worth it anyway so there's no point of trying to get a, a product off the ground even if the metrics are good if it's not getting sales and add to carts um for the price that the lowest price you can sell it for because i could lower the price to like really cheap and if it starts getting sales it's not going to be worth it because obviously the uh the, the profit is not going to be worth it so it's uh it's not really um not worth carrying on so i stopped that even though the metrics were good i mean these were really good metrics nine percent click through rate low cpm 48 p a click but like i said no add to carts for this one um same with this one ten dollars spent no no add to carts this one had three dollars 59 spent no clicks you had i had to pause it this one here was just really low uh click through rate is only one percent which is normally a sign that the targeting is not really on point and uh so i, I stopped that one also this one here 0.4 percent four dollars 57 um a click so i stopped that one and now we've got five left here so these ones the metrics are all right so i'm going to let it run so they got the cpm's low good click through rate which is good it's getting definitely getting clicks um and it's getting add to cart so this has just got to leave this and see how it goes i've had three add to carts on this one um and that's that boxing one uh boxing like speed ball trainer kind of thing which you uh sort of attach to your head and you can sort of uh practice your uh boxing skills or you know uh, punching speed or whatever you want to do with it but that um that's got really good engagement so i'm going to let this run it's got three add to carts i've like i said i've dropped the price to it on really what i want to let it go down to and if i can't afford to let it go much lower otherwise there's just not going to be enough uh, profit it needs to be at a certain level of profit for you to have any chance of trying to scale it and if there's not much in it and uh, even if you are getting sales, you're not going to be able to scale a product up when you're literally um, making uh, hardly any margin on it at all. So this one here, I'm going to leave it run. It might start getting sales at the um, at the price it's at. And if it does, then wicked. But it's definitely going to let that run because it's got three add to carts um, and it's getting low uh, cost per click. So that's definitely good target when it comes to that. Um, and some of them I've done on add to cart and someone purchased because I wanted to do sort of like a little test to see if there was a difference in the, the price uh, of cost per click and the uh, the results. So so the add to carts, you can tell are generally a lot lower cost per click and the per when you've got it on the purchase conversion um they normally a bit higher but sometimes obviously with the purchase you're going to more likely get a sale from it but it's not always the case i've been sort of playing around with it recently just having a little see if uh, add to cart i can get more lower cost per click and still get the conversions at the same time so i'm sort of doing a little test live as we're going um, and as you can see that these are both purchased and they are on a lot higher cpm but this one was two dollars twenty six a click, so it's it's on the higher side, but still got a sell, and um, and the ROAS is still above uh, two times ROAS. So I'm gonna let it go, but I would say at the minute this could be a fluke. I've actually switched this, so these are on purchase, but I've only just switched these to per, um to add to carts. So I haven't changed the name on it, but um they are actually add to carts now. So the uh, it's optimizing for add to carts. So I'm gonna see if that will lower the cost per click and uh, hopefully lower the CPM. And if it does, might be able to get some sales uh, 
at a lower cost per click and a lower cost per sell. So I'm going to see how that goes. But as you can see, um, you know, you've just got to be really ruthless with that. So I've spent 143. It's not too bad. Uh, starting off to launch, you know, eight different products, quite a lot of ad sets. Um, and like I said, ideally, like from, you know, from experience when I would launch, like if I launch eight to 10 at once, you're normally going to get a few more sales. It's still halfway through the day. So it could still, when I go to sleep, um, I'm going to try and get up early so I don't want to let any of these go over the metrics um, and hopefully there might be some more sales coming in because normally they sort of tend to come in in the later half of the day on the um, in the account time zone so I'm going to, just going to leave it at that so so as you can see like just make sure you're ruth ruthless with your ads you won't spend as much as you think you're going to spend uh, whatever budget you're doing it at. at least uh, as long as you're stopping them early you won't go through your budget uh, you know a lot of money that quick and normally a lot of the time you will be getting a lot quite you know a few more sales involved in it and I'm I'm a bit disappointed that there's not more sales but like I said it's just data you're collecting data if I launched all these ads and they didn't get any results then that's just a part of the game they weren't good um, you know it's time to move on I wouldn't get too hung up and trying to test uh, more ad sets more uh, interest Otherwise, you could get into, uh, you know, fall down the 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 uh, into the trap of uh, just launching too many ads, interest for a product, and end up doing loads of money on it when it just wasn't really uh, a winner. So I'm gonna see how it goes. Hopefully, it might uh, get a few more sales, but at least we've got that that first sale out of the way, and. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes from then. And if by tomorrow hasn't picked up on any of them, what I will probably do is look at some of the metrics on the ones that I've done better, see if I can single out, uh, you know, key uh key parts uh, you know um, in the breakdown so maybe an age group was doing better or, or something like that I'll tell you what while I'm actually here let's do that and have a little look so we're going to go by delivery I'm going to go to platform first see which platform is uh, delivering the best so I'm going to actually switch this to uh, active campaigns only so just them um, uh, five will be showing so Let's have a little look here. Instagram is actually sky high. Normally, Instagram is the lowest, so I'm really surprised that that's so high. So this is, uh, this is for me, it's uh, not not good. This is uh, not a good indicator at all, actually. So these ones, you can see the cost per click is a lot cheaper on Facebook. So tomorrow, after I've let it run, I get a little bit more data because it's still above the two times row as I will. Um, I might look into uh, editing the ad set or duplicating it without the uh, expensive parts of the ad set. So like here, Instagram is uh, more expensive than Facebook for the clicks. These ones have only delivered to Facebook because maybe the video um, dimensions weren't suitable for Instagram. So, so you can see the data sort of gives you a bit more, better for indicator, which is working better. So Facebook on this one and Facebook on that one is getting better click through rates and cheaper CPMs and uh, and the sale come from Facebook so that's one thing I could possibly do tomorrow to see if I can uh, sort of uh, rectify this ad set get it going um, better let's go into the age so maybe the age might uh, show something here so so that sale come from 25 to 34 so that's cheaper CPM there the cost per click is still two dollars CP uh, cost per click it's got a lot higher. The row, as you can see there, though, is uh, is a lot higher. That was one click, one sale. Um, let's have a little look. So these are. See, so look, they're cheaper. These are, the lower range range is a bit cheaper, and um, and you can see they're cheaper down here. So I could probably cut out some of the higher higher end here. So really, maybe I should I could just go twenty five to to. Uh, to maybe 44 that might bring it uh, bring the cost per click down even further so as you can see all the uh, add to carts come from this age range so i could just break it into that one age age range sorry and see if we can uh, you know get it working better with that this add to carts come from the lower age range again so maybe i could think about that and uh, maybe I could do that 25 to 54 tomorrow and see. So you can just sort of get the idea. Sometimes you need to look through the data and see what's happening um, and just really just have a little work from that. So I'm going to move it down to rise, see if it's um, where the ads are cards are. So, so my um, computer's a bit frozen then. So yeah, I'll probably do that tomorrow. So there you go. As, as you can see, it's all a part of the process. Getting data is key. Testing products is key. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're, you're on to a winner early on. Sometimes it's not the case. Today, I feel like I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not... Um, not getting more sales than I would like. Sometimes it's not like I would expect to hit a winner off the bat, but normally you get a few sales to sort of level yourself out in uh, in the grand scheme of the day kind of thing. But you never know. It can still, uh, you know, 
by the time I wake up tomorrow, there might be a few sales to sort of balance out a bit more and to get an indicator on any products that are worth trying to uh, scale or try to uh, uh, add a few more ad sets to see if we can keep it going and uh, you know build some more winning ad sets. But at the moment, nothing's looking too promising. We see how it goes. And if, uh, if it's not that great tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch another uh, bunch of products and uh, you know just keep testing because that is the key. You have to keep testing. You have to keep uh, checking uh, your ad sets. You have to be ruthless in pausing them. Um, and like it's a matter of maybe two, three, four hundred dollars. You could have uh, gone through quite a few products and found that winner, and uh, you know getting getting your money back quickly. So if you're just launching an ad, uh, a product here and there, and you're letting it run over massively on all your ads, you're going to spend the same kind of money launching just a few products. If you're not as ruthless with the uh, with the ads and cutting them early than if you are launching a few ads sets quite a few ads products sorry at once and um and then being dead ruthless about it and just making sure that you're only keeping the the, the good ad sets going so so there you go so this is live like i said i'm not um not recording this, making sure that the results are, are really good off the bat and uh, then releasing these videos. I'm doing it live exactly how I would do it um, and uh, and I'm showing you what I would be doing in the in the situations that are arising. So today um, we've got the first sale. So that's that's the main thing. We've got a sale, got the uh, first sale of the account going and if you were new that would be quite exciting for you to get that first sale. So hope hope you got some uh, you know value out of that and you can see how important it is to be uh, you know really uh, on point with the metrics and and see the importance of launching a lot of ads a lot of ads even um, products I mean um, just to see what's going on so there's eight products launched there and we'll see how it goes tomorrow but I'm gonna go to bed now and I'm gonna publish this video in a minute and then tomorrow I will uh, see how things are going and I may launch more products or I may scale a, a winning ad set out if it's uh, if it's still above the two times row as and all the metrics are good so I look forward to sharing that with you make sure you leave any comments in the in the video if you have any questions uh, if we're not friends yet why not click subscribe click subscribe click subscribe join the family drop a like and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video so till then I will speak to you soon